hello. It's Monday the 16th, and we're here for the second to last episode. You want to hear some weird facts? Welcome back to the last episode of... (laughs) Our first fact is, did you know that dolphins only allow one half of their brains to sleep at a time? Apparently this is supposed to keep them safe while they're asleep. Which is kind of weird, but I guess that's science. Next. Have you ever heard of the immortal jellyfish? It is actually the only biologically immortal animal. Next, the Commodore, I think that's how you pronounce it, is a funny dog breed that looks exactly like a mop. Oh my god. The picture is shown here. Next! A lot of dinosaurs from Jurassic World are actually, surprise, from the Cretaceous period, not the Jurassic period. Famous examples include the Velociraptor, the T-Rex, Triceratops, and the Ankylosaurus. Next, vacuum cleaners were originally horse-drawn. They're not exactly the vacuum cleaners you might expect. Next, there are 80 weekend days in a year but 180 school days. Next, a pig's genus is soup. Jaguars have the strongest bite of the cat kingdom. Go Jaguars! Second to last, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 as a number. <laughs> Multiply by 2 is just a scrambled version of it. And last but not least, to end off the school year, in Basha High School, it is tradition to throw all their papers downstairs. This is called the paper drop. But we shouldn't do that here. We don't want to upset our janitors. That was the last fact for the year. Hope to see you next year. Have you wanted to uh, see the weather, but also have some uh, drama? Do I got the thing for you? Hi, I'm Anishka, and that's Liliana. No, I'm Liliana, and that's Anishka. I'm Anishka, and that's Liliana. No, I'm Liliana, and that's Anishka. (laughs) So today, on Monday, there's a low of 55 degrees. And a high of 83. That tomorrow, on Tuesday, there's a low of 52 degrees. And a high of 85. The day after, on Wednesday, there's a low of 54 degrees. And a high of 84. On Thursday, there's a low of 56 degrees. And a high of 80 degrees. And on Friday, there's a fabulous low of 54 degrees. And a high of 75. Woohoo! No more weather! What the heck? I wish I never worked with you on the oil spill video. In all seriousness, this was a random skit, but climate change is a very real issue. We have to make sure we're not contributing to that, and we're reducing our carbon footprint. Back to the studio! And make sure you... And now we have a video for the people that completed the challenge test. Congratulations to our FMS Jaguars who participated in the math challenge test that was held in our multi on Friday, April 22nd, 2022, after school from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. We had 82 Jaguars who participated in this test. Some of them were our current 6th and 7th graders, and others were our incoming 6th graders who are currently 5th graders from other various elementary schools. The tests were not easy and keep them busy the entire two hours. It was no fun to write a two-hour math test on a Friday afternoon after a regular school day, where Jaguars were very focused and on a mission to do their best. Our math teachers at FMS are so proud of these students who were the select few who met the requirements to register for the challenge test and gave it a try. Way to go, FMS mathematicians. We are so proud of you for your hard work and effort put into the challenge test. Have you ever just been sitting down and you just decide to ask yourself, What the dog doing?
What the dog doing? It's rewind time. Oh, that's hot. What the dog that's hot. What the dog now we have a cool thing on the track high jump. With those announcements out of the way, welcome back to my epic Y2K dance tutorial. Next week is Spirit Week, so on Monday you can dress up in camo. Hey dude! Check out this cool thing I found. What is it this time? Observe. <laughs> On Tuesday, dress up as your future career. Just like the simulation. On Wednesday, you can dress up as your favorite time period, and why is it the Crusades? On Thursday, you can dress up and represent a school. And I mean, you already know it. And one final announcement, there will be an end-of-the-year concert at 6.30 p.m. held in the multi tomorrow. So, be there or be square. Burn? Yes? No. Ho, ho, ho. Uh. Ha ha ha!